Look at this map. It's probably similar to the one you had growing up as a kid. Now, would it shock you to learn that California is twice the size of Portugal? That Greenland could fit inside the African continent more than 14 times? Or that Australia is larger than the entire continent of Europe? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but this map has been lying to you your entire life. The problem lies in projection, which in map making terms means the impossible task of accurately representing a 3D object, such as our spherical planet, in a two-dimensional map. It's a problem that's plagued cartographers for centuries, and even made an appearance on the West Wing. Are you saying the map is wrong? Oh dear, yes. For example, that map from earlier, the one you grew up with, this is the man responsible for your literally distorted worldview. Gerardus Makeda was a Flemish cartographer, and in 1569, he created the Makeda projection. This map, which is still used today, found favour and was quickly adopted by the rest of the world because it preserved local angular relationships. Those are these straight lines here. Those straight lines make seafaring navigation so much easier. However, the downfall of this projection is that the closer the landmass is to the top poles, the more distorted it is. Although the shapes of these countries and continents may be correct, it's their relative size that leaves a lot to be desired. You are able to fit the entirety of the United States, India, and much of Europe inside the outline of the African continent. But the distortions don't end there. According to the Makeda projection, Russia appears to dwarf the US, but in reality, Russia is only two times larger. Canada is the same, only being 1.2 times larger than the US. One of the most common alternatives to the Makeda projection was presented in 1974 by this man, D. Arno Peters. The Gaul Peters projection makes seeing relative size of places much easier. We'd like President Bartlett to aggressively support legislation that would make it mandatory for every public school in America to teach geography using the Peters projection map instead of the traditional Mercator. Give me 200 bucks and it's done. However, to do this, it has to sacrifice the shape of the countries. Certain places appear stretched, horizontally near the poles and vertically near the equator. The fact is that there is no perfect map for all occasions. We've come to believe that this is our best option, but that logic was based in a time where seafaring was at its height. We've changed our maps before as we've come to learn more about the world. When the Makeda projection was first incepted, this was our idea of America. Perhaps with the advent of satellite imagery, it's time to shift our worldview once again. Thank you.